Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am sitting at my sewing machine. I haven't done a thing yet. I have an idea. I'm going to do it for the first time with you guys. I'm not even going to practice. A little while ago, I made these adorable scrappy blocks using these scraps that were left after cutting uh, layer cakes into two inch squares. So I have all these lovely scraps and I think I'm going to, you know, continue to use them and make blocks. When I made these, you guys just fell in love with them and I will link to this video in the description box below. And I loved them too. Then I ended up making these blocks just recently out of two inch squares. Also scrappy, also very easy. To you guys loved these also. I really think scrappy quilt blocks are popular, <laughs> especially if we can find ways to make it look like it was complicated, but it's not. Very easy. Just like these, you would think that you had to put all kinds of pieces together, and no, it was just two blocks that were four strips each, and you just sold them and cut in a certain way, and, and you get this stuff. So I thought, why don't I pull out these scraps and I'm going to make strip sets like I did to create these but instead of cutting like I did these I'm going to cut like I did these I don't think it will be as cute <laughs> I don't know <laughs> to my liking I just love these so much because I have the squares and then all oh, the you know the little triangles around it but we're going to try, right? That's what we're going to do. So I need eight strips, and it doesn't matter what size strips you use. They don't even have to be the same size. All you need is two blocks at the end that are the same size. These are about two inches, and uh, you know, obviously they're longer. So what am I going to do? Okay, I'm gonna take four and put them together to make one block and then I'll put four more and put them together to make one block and then I will determine how big they are after I measure the height of those. Okay, that sounds complicated. Let me pick out eight strips. In case you are wondering, these strips are a little under two inches tall, more like maybe one and three quarters and almost eight inches wide. Again, it doesn't really matter. You could be using ten narrower strips or whatever you want. The whole idea is to play with things and practice and see what you like, right? But I have these scraps and I'm leaving them as is. So I'm going to sew these two together. This is for one of the blocks. Sew these two together and then I'll send these two together. And then I'll send the other block too. I'll show you that in a minute as soon as I have room. And these are the strips that I picked. I just tried to vary, you know, dark, light, dark, light. Doesn't really matter. Oops, I think I have two of these. Let's get one of those off. So now we'll send these two through and then these two through. I'm going to take the other two off. So I'll be able to start putting those together. I just leave everything right there. Now I don't know for sure like what the order was that I had and it does not matter and it doesn't matter how accurate anything is even if your strips aren't sewn straight because we're gonna press them we're gonna trim them and it's going to work. Trimming is like magic. So I'm just going to go dark light, dark light, and I'm going to sew these together there. I want to get these off. And again, I'm not exactly sure how I had this, and I, I really don't care. <laughs> If you're wondering about this little tag of fabric that I have, I have a video for that now. I'll link to it down below. 
I almost left without telling you what I'm doing now. I am going to open these and I'm going to press them. I just press the seams all to one side. And then I will measure in this direction. And whatever it measures, like if it's six inches, then I'm going to trim it to six inches in this direction. So let me just go do that and then I'll tell you like what size I ended up with. I'm back. A couple of things. My seams just wanted to fall the way they wanted to fall. Like this one, the seam is going this way and this way. This one, it's going this way. And, you know, sometimes the seams just have a mind of their own and go with it. Same here. Now, they're a little bit wonky, so I measured. I can get about five and a half inches, but I'm going to cut them at five and a quarter. I could even just make it easy and cut them at five. That's what I'll do. Now, when you're trimming, you know, obviously this way you're going to just cut and then, you know, five inches or whatever. And when you're trimming, you know, the other edges like these, you can decide to take it off evenly on both sides. Or if you wanted to, just to make one strip more narrow, you could take off whatever you need on just one side. I'm going to just, you know, do some on each side. <laughs> I'm going to trim these to five inch squares, okay? For those of you who don't need a fucking step-by-step -step holding your hand explanation, five inch squares, do it, come back. These squares are adorable just as they are, right? We just love strip sets. I trimmed to five inches, so the outside strips are going to end up being more narrow than the inside strips because I trimmed them and we're also going to be sewing around these blocks, so we're going to lose a little bit of those. And that's okay because it'll just add to the scrappiness and wonkiness, right? Right, we like those things. And don't throw away these scraps, put that in your crumb box because you have some nice crumb blocks already started here. Now we're going to put these together and cut them like we did these, okay? For these, if you remember, we put them together, these strips going this way and then these going the other way. So one vertical, one horizontal. And then we sewed all the way around and then we cut on the diagonal of both blocks in both directions and that gave us four little uh, quilt blocks. I can't remember what size we started with these, but go watch the video. I'll have it in the link in the description box. I'll have the link in the description box, I should say. This time we're going to, I guess, do the same thing. I don't know if I want to do like both vertical, because I don't know how it's going to turn out. We can try that another time. But I'm going to do vertical and horizontal, right sides facing. And once again, we are going to sew all the way around, but then the cutting will be different. So let's get that step done, sewing all the way around. And now we're going to pick a side, any side, and we're going to draw a diagonal line. You can use a pen because we're going to be cutting on that line so it's never going to be seen. So I'm just going to go to my cutting mat and have my ruler and I'm going to draw a line this way and this way. Do not cut this on the diagonal all the way through. No, we're not doing that this time. You're going to pull these two apart. You only want to cut on the line on the part that you drew the line. So what I do is I take a seam ripper and I just pull this apart. I make sure I don't put the seam ripper through both layers. I'm just going to stick the seam ripper in the top, the top layer a little bit. I can tell that's not through both. I'm going to make a little hole big enough to put my scissors. I'm going to stick my scissors in there and I'm just going to cut on the line in this direction. all the way to the corner and then I, I turn and go in the opposite direction. It's okay if it gets a little uh, like where you made the hole if it gets a little messy because 
That's going to get hidden in a seam allowance later when you put the block next to something else. And do the same in the on the other diagonal. So excited. I'm going to go flip these out and I'm going to press. I have no idea what it's going, you know, to look like. I think it's going to be good. Okay, I'm going to go press all this. I can't even begin to tell you how pleased I am with this block. Now, I haven't trimmed it yet because I want you to see, like, the things that we're left with. But look, whatever way we just did it, <laughs> the strips are going in this direction and the strips here are going in this direction, up and down. So I love that. This way, the strips are going in this direction, but the other strips are going, you know, horizontal. Do you fucking love this? You better. You better or else. Now, had we put both of the squares in the same direction, then these would have also carried on in the same direction. And that too, I don't think I would have liked it as much. So do it exactly the way I did it, with one square going up and down, the other square going horizontal. And this is what we have. I just love it. Okay, now, so I'm going to trim. And we do sometimes lose our points. Well, we don't sometimes. We're always going to lose our points in the seam allowance where, you know, where this magic happened. And uh, let me just trim this. But yeah, we want to get rid of all these things. And there's going to be little things like this happening just because of, you know, the strip sets and stuff like that. I'm so happy trimming now. It's funny how I didn't think I was going to love this one as much. And I think I love it the most so far. I just love this. <laughs> I trimmed to six inches. All I had to do was take off about a quarter of an inch on each side. The strips I started out with were one and three quarters of an inch tall. And you'd need, I would say, six inches wide. So you have wiggle room when you want to trim those first two blocks that we made. You trim those to five inches and then you do all the rest of these steps. Now I want to tell you, you could just use two five inch squares. I sell a lot of five inch squares on my eBay store. So go look. The link is always in the description below this video or on the sidebar if you're on a device. And you could just put your two five inch squares together, sew all the way around, do the X on one and open them up like I did this. And it would just be two colors. It would be, you know, your center piece and then the four uh, triangles that it would create around it. So it's really an easy, a quick and easy way to sew quilt blocks. And then you would be able to trim those down uh, to six inches like I just did. Beautiful. I love it. I just do. Now I'm going to take a couple of pictures and I will do a little slideshow at the end of this video with what some people think is very irritating music. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye.